hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are new here please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today we are going to learn how to design a short flyer using photoshop so let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches and the resolution 300 so here you can type the name of the flyer you want to design click on grades so these are the tests i'm going to use and the fonts in this tutorial and here are the resources i'm going to use so now drag this one inside then i'm going to rasterize it select your magic tool then you click on it press delete on your keyboard then ctrl d to deselect what i did is to remove the white background over there so you can't see it because the background is white now i will also drag this image then you scale it out Okay, then apply Gaussian Blur. Input this number. Then copy your test. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard. Then I'm going to use this color code to change the font color, then OK. Reduce the font size, place it at the center, I'm using my arrow key then to move it. Now apply this drop shadow. Then enter the code you are seeing here. Then the contour, you enter this one, then you click OK. So this is what you have. Now I'm going to copy the layer style, then apply it to the test. Paste it here. So now it has been applied. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then come over here to copy your test. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font. I will leave the font in the description so that you can make use of it. Then select your test tool again. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to this one. Then scale it out. Then you close the character space. Position it at the center. Then you click here to apply vertical alignment. Now 
Now apply this blending option. Then input the code number you are seeing here. Then apply drop shadow. Also enter the number you are seeing here and the contour. Then I'm going to apply satin. Then you can see the code here. So it's the same code which we first use on the color. So apply all this number. Then you click OK. Then come over here to copy your test. Select your test tool, then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font again. Then increase the font size. Then you position it over here. Then apply character spacing a bit. You can do it, make it the way you want it. Then I'm going to apply the test effect we use on the elevation to the service. Then come back again to copy your test. Then you select your test tool by pressing T on the keyboard. Now I'm going to change the font, make it semi bold or bold, any one you, you want, you can make use of it, as far as it is good for you. Then apply a drop shadow, so I will leave it with the same code I've been using before. Then you group this one. I use my arrow key to shift it up. Then come back to copy again. T on the keyboard for test two. Then come back here to change the font. Then you apply semi bold or bold, so anyone you want. Now you bring this icon, then position it around here. All right. So you take this one over here to apply white color. So what I did to bring that 
box out is to press Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. That is for hue and saturation. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you come back here to change your font. Now apply superscript. Then increase the font size. Then I will leave it this way. Then I will reduce this one to match it. Then draw a rectangle line over here. Then you change the font color. Now apply this color to this one, we duplicate. Then also duplicate this text. Then go back to your text to copy the time. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to increase the test. Then reposition this one to the center. Okay. Then you select them together and you group it. Now you rename it. So what I did is to apply the layer style. Then bring this image, reduce the size, position it over here. Reduce it again. Then go back to your test tool to copy your test. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you come and change the font again. Then you drag it up here. Okay, now change the, for, uh, the color to white. Ctrl plus J, that is what I did to duplicate it. Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you change the font color.
Come over here again to copy. Then you duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you change the font color to white. So zoom out to see how it looks and zoom in. I'm using the arrow key to bring it down. Then I'm going to group it together. Then you bring this icon for location, then you reduce the size, position it over here, then you reduce it again, I will reduce it a bit. Then copy your location, then press T on your keyboard for test to, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font color to black, OK. Reduce the font size. Then change the alignment to left and reposition it back. I made it to be more bold. Change the font color. Then bring it down a little bit. Now group it together and rename it. Now I'm going to bring this image then scale it out then apply your layer mask then you blend the bottom over here then change it to luminosity I'm going to reduce the opacity so you input the number there then 
then and this one again this infect then you scale it out you change the blood and uh, the blending mode to overlay then I'm going to reduce the opacity so you input this number here so you can see how it looks now please if this is the first time you are watching on my video kindly subscribe so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video remember to share and also like then your comment is very important let me know how you feel about this tutorial so that it will enable me to improve in my video so now I'm going to apply this Gaussian blur then OK Control plus U for hue and saturation then I'll change it to white So how do you see it, this one and the first one, which one do you think is more preferable? Let me know under the comment section. Thanks.